we go. In a world where... No. In a world... Wait. Never mind. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. It's fall right now here in Minnesota. I imagine it's fall other places as well. It has to do with the tilt of the earth, rotation. I love the fall. I love the fall. Um, but I sometimes find myself, I've found myself in the past, um, having this kind of attitude of like, oh, it's this season. I wish it was this season. You know, it's some other season. It's winter. I wish it was summer. It was summer. Ugh, so hot. I wish it was fall. That kind of idea. And sometimes we can be so dissatisfied with the season that we are in that we wish it was another time. So this happens in our lives as well, not just with like weather and whatnot, but it happens all of the time when people are saying, okay, I'm in this stage of my life, I'm in this season of my life, and I just wish all I'm doing is looking forward to the next season or the next stage of my life. And I'm wondering, why am I not there? Short answer is, you're not there because you're right here, right? You're not in summer because right now it's the fall. Can we apply this to our lives as well? People say like, well, I just, I just wish I was married. Or I just wish that I was, I was out of college and I had a job. I just wish that I was on my own. You know, as a high schooler, maybe say, I just wish that I was out of my parents' house. As uh, someone out of your parents' house says, I wish I was back in my parents' house. Um, you could say, I wish I had kids. I wish I was retired. We can be so, so impatient with where we are right now as far as God's plan for our lives, as far as his call in our lives, his vocation in our lives. We can say, I just want to know what God wants me to do. Like, I want to be in that season where I'm just doing the vocation and living, the, living, living it out and, and just I'm able to just move forward. If you find yourself dissatisfied with your season in life, I'm going to invite you to do three things. Number one, um, I may invite you to do four things, in fact. Number one is identify the season. Identify the season that you actually are in as opposed to the season you want to be in. For years, I would pray, God, please just let me know what you want me to do for my life. Like, just tell me my vocation. I'm ready. Just, I will do it right now if you let me know right now. And for years, I think I prayed every day for at least nine years, God, just if you want me to be a priest, just let me know right now. And so I would go to various pre, uh, retreats. I would go to pray. I'd go to mass. And with this one goal, the one goal was I want to leave this retreat or leave this prayer time or leave this mass knowing what you want me to do, Lord. And so when he didn't let me know at that retreat and that mass or in that prayer time, I walked away thinking like, well, that was a waste of time. Like that was, that was pointless. And I basically snubbed all of the gifts that God was actually giving to me because it wasn't the season for him to tell me what he wanted me to do in my life. And so because of that, here, what, I do, what I ended up doing is, again, missing all the blessings I was, I was receiving from the Lord. And I was not being grateful for, for any of the things that he was actually doing in that season of my life. Because I had my eyes set on like, but the next season, the time when you actually are telling me. So number one, I have to identify what season we actually are in as opposed to the season you want to be in. Number two, be patient. If, you, if you've ever tried starting uh, to be like an endurance athlete, you ever started running, one of the things that can happen is you can be so frustrated like, oh man, I can only, I can only go three miles. I can only go one mile without you know, stopping and walking and saying like, I'm so angry about this. Well, I'm so frustrated. Why? I'm impatient because I think I should be somewhere that I'm not yet ready to be. Like this is, this, this, is, this is how the process goes, right? You have to start somewhere and then you start moving forward. You may not be at the place where you want to be. You're in a particular season of when it comes to prayer. Be patient with the fact that you're growing. Number three, the third thing, first thing, identify the season you're in and the one you want to go to. Number two, be patient with yourself, be patient with the process. Number three, be active, like actually start moving. Do the work of the day, not the work of tomorrow. I know I'm called to marriage. I know I'm called to, uh, to be a father or a mother in, some, in my, fam my own family. I, I'm not, I'm a priest, but, but you know what I'm saying. Um, that means that right, right now, what are the things I should be working on in my life so I can be that kind of dad, so I can be that kind of husband, so I can be that kind of parent or spouse? If I might be called to be a priest or I might be called to be religious, like, I don't know yet, but what are the things that I can do right now that will help me to become that person then? So I can be patient, but I, I must take action. And the third, fourth thing, I think it's uh, Saint, not Saint, but Charles de Cassade. Is it Charles de Cassade? His last, the end of his name is de Cassade. What he says in the book, um, the... Do I have to look it up? I think I have to look it up. I'll be right back. Jean-Pierre de Cassade. Good thing I didn't say Charles de Cassade. Man. Okay. Here we go. The fourth thing. Uh, Jean-Pierre de Cassade 
says in his book, Abandonment to Divine Providence. This is a great book. I recommend you, please, you should read this book. It will change your life. The Kassad talks about this thing he calls the sacrament of the present moment. You know, we don't live in the future. We don't live in the past. Can't, can't do that. We can only have right now. And it's this moment, it's right now, it's the present moment that God communicates himself to us always, all of the time. But we're, we often miss it. Why? Because I'm looking forward to the next season. So the four things is identify the season you're in and the season you want to go, you want to be in at some point. That's great. You can identify that because then you can be patient with yourself and be patient with the process, be patient with the reality that like, okay, is what's supposed to be happening right now happening right now? That's why we need to be active. And the fourth thing is to be aware of God's presence, the practice of the present moment, the sacrament of the present moment, recognizing God is communicating his life and his grace and his holiness to us now. You don't have to wait to be in your vocation to become a saint. You don't have to wait to know your vocation to start being holy. Why? Because at this moment, what is, to, what is it to be holy? To be holy is to say yes to God's will. Whatever season it is, whatever day it is, whatever that will is in this moment, to simply say yes to that, that's to be a saint. It's all going to take care of itself. You will become a saint. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. And God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. It, isn't it? Right? I don't know. Stupid. Stupid.